How's it going out there, K County Accountability? Coming at you guys today, I've been working on this for a couple weeks on how I was going to present this. Um, the fact is, is I spoke with a an employee of the DA's office. They are employed underneath the DA's office. Um, where, I'm not going to say. Who, I'm not going to say. Um, I do not, will not reveal my source. They told me this stuff in confidence, so... I will not expose who they are. Well, speaking with this individual a couple weeks ago, the way this conversation started is they asked me, like, you know, is it really worth what you're doing? You know, wouldn't you rather live in peace than a constant war the way you are against the DA's office and against K County? Well, you know, like, speaking with them, I was, you know, yeah, I would love to have my peace. However, with a boot heel on your neck... That's not peace. That's complacency and slavery. And that's exactly what Brian Hermanson does with the county of K and the county of Noble. And basically every Oklahoma attorney, because they are terrified to go against that man, because he holds so much authority as the Oklahoma Bar Association president. Which I'm sorry, but that like a DA like if you're president of the Oklahoma Bar Association you shouldn't be a DA then because attorneys are too afraid to go up against you because you can take their fucking livelihood away that man can revoke their license yeah it takes a bit of you know paperwork and stuff but i guarantee it that he get it done and that's what's fucked up is this James guy that was appointed to me as an attorney as soon as i told him i was wanting to fight this and i wanted to sue Brian Hermanson, oh fuck, now there's a conflict, now there's a conflict, and his voice, he, he immediately, I listened to the conversation, he immediately changed his tone and stuff when I said I wanted to fight this, he's too afraid to go up against Brian Hermanson, which is wrong, but let me get back to talking with this employee, okay, and you know, told him like, this is, it's wrong, like, I cannot sit back and let this man absolutely abuse his power and get away with it. I can't. This individual told me that they all know he, he abuses his power. That he violates constitutional law. That he violates law. Just state law. To get what he wants. He will file false charges. And this individual told me that I am not the first one he has filed false charges against. And that he's done this to. Which, I mean, we can go back to the district attorney before Brian Hermanson. And that district attorney did the exact same thing. I hate Scott Loftus, but he did the exact same thing to fucking Scott Loftus. Falsely, false, falsified crimes against him. And then, and then ended up having to resign and stuff because it was found out. And not a, the district attorney before Brian Hermanson also with a jailer that exposed, um, I believe it was for Rocky Bales when he was killed in the jail, in the K County jail, and they were trying to get her to forge the times and stuff of when he came in and stuff to hide what they did. Um, she was blackballed. Uh, she was in, ended up being arrested for stealing her own car and for uh, was arrested for kidnapping her own children. That it, it, They weaponize their fucking office. Is exactly what it is. And this individual exposed to me that, that everybody there knows, that the entire DA's office and everybody in that court knows what he does, that he is violating law, that he is a criminal. And, and to say to you all, all of you DA employees, all of you court employees of K County, just remember that not only will you be judged by man, but you will be judged by your God. And I'm pretty sure majority of you employees that work there are Christian, God-fearing people. Just remember, complacency is a sin. If you sit back and you know someone is, being, is doing wrong and basically working for the devil, and you sit back complacent and do nothing, you will be judged for it. Just remember, you will be judged for it when, you, when your time comes. No, it's not my beliefs, but I know it's a lot of yours. And so just remember, complacency and turning a blind eye, it, you might as well commit the crime yourself. So just know, all of you employees of the K County DA's office that sit there in silence, 
in complacency and watch this man abuse his power, abuse the authority given to him by the people, and you sit back and do nothing, your judgment will come. Just remember. Other than that, Cade County accountability, you guys take care out there and always film the police.